Hello all, and welcome to Night Rips. Today's opening has really got me kind of confused. So one of the things I have actually picked up is this box of 1998 Series 1 tops. Um, but this is a 20-pack box. And the one thing that I think is really interesting is that everywhere I've looked, I don't, I've not found, I found the fat pack, which had 15 packs in it, or the, the hobby fat or jumbo, I guess what they call it. It has 15 packs. And then there's the 36 pack box. I don't know. I've not seen a 20 pack box. So this one, this one's got me a little bit baffled. And I also don't know how many cards is in each pack. So we're going to go ahead and crack this open and see what's in it. I mean, it's, it, again, it's got me real confused because everywhere I've gone to, you know, all the sites I usually look for what what's in a in a box none of them mentioned this size box before so i'm gonna as always i'm trying i always try to take care of the boxes i do know that this has a potential of having some uh, roberto clemente cards in it but other than that i don't know this is this one's a strange one to me so let's see what we got so these okay there's eight cards per pack 20 packs per box so I think I'm gonna pull out let's pull out five we'll, we'll do it we'll do this in four videos and see what we can find in this I'm really curious again I've not seen a I've not seen this one at all so I don't know what's in it I don't know what the chances are there is, I, there is some cool inserts that are in the, that could potentially be in these packs. You know, there are no autos, but there, there is some mem cards or some mystery cards, etch a sketch cards. Well, might as well just let's open them up and see what we find. So again, we're going to do this in five videos. Um, these are awful shiny, but let's see what we got. Uh, hopefully, you can see that. Otherwise, I'll read it. Odds of finding minted in Cooperstown one in twelve. The Clemente reprint, one in 24. Clemente tribute, one in 16. The Baby Boomer, one in 50. The Mystery Finest, one in 50. Mystery Finest Refractor, one in 200. Flashback, one in 100. Etch a Sketch, one in 50. Clemente Finest, one in 100. And Clemente Refractor, one in 400. This is back in 98, before they actually realize that we one day would be opening these packs on video so having these super shiny chrome wrappers is actually kind of a pain now let's see what we got all yeah, right well at least it doesn't feel like they're stuck together or at least they're minimally stuck together but we've got this greg vaughn gold looking card it looks like that might be the design of these cards it's this gold look we got greg vaughn when he was with the padres and on the back of course it's a two-sided color card and ton of stats and a nice picture so this is actually a nice card nice clean design and it, it actually has that same card stock feel like stadium club does so definitely a higher, higher end product than they do now in in uh, top series. Um, this is Eddie Guardado. So I'm reading them off, but I'm trying to. It's a little hard because of the gold on these. Uh, we got what's that? Hideo Nomo. Should have known that one. I'm trying to read the names before looking at the pictures and we got two stuck together here and then we got looks like an insert of some sort so i'm taking my time a little bit with these cards because i have never opened one of these up before oh this is cool um i don't know i guess i guess it's a red because it's the cincinnati reds but we got deon sanders prime time Okay, we got one of the World Series cards. 
it's like a chrome type card. It's not chrome, but it's definitely got that shiny material. It's a 97 World Series with the Indians, and this would be Matt Williams. That's neat. So that's the World Series insert. Actually, I should probably have my my thing up here. So yeah, the World Series, there's a set in there. There's going to be 282 cards in Series 1. There's Tony Gwynn, Mr. Padre. Yeah, so yeah, there's definitely going to be 282 cards in the first set. There's 222 in the second series. We're obviously not going to get all of them. Not with this, not with this opening. There's Dave... Dave Malicki. Sorry, it's just hard to read the chrome on these, or the gold. Especially the angle I have to, to hold them in order not to put a shine on them. It's real difficult. And there's Devon White. Okay. That's an interesting set. And I do like these. Definitely, definitely interesting. It looks like the inserts are actually just part of the numbered set. It's just a subset. The Clemente would actually be an interesting one because those those are actually true inserts. And one thing about this set is that this year they actually did not print a card number seven because they were that was in honor of Mickey Mantle. All right, so let me turn those around. So there's our checklist. If you wanted to see who all it'd be. Quite a few cards. Let's see, even they even break out the uh, the little subsets. So that's your sketch, interleague mystery, finest flashbacks, hallbound, baby boomers, and then the regular ones. But even put that gold foil on the checklist. That's kind of that's classy. We got Matt Lawson. From it, I looked over and I'm like, wow, that looks like a like a relic, but there's no relics in this. We have a Hal Morris and why he's backwards. I thought we had got them all turned around. Well, maybe not. Oh, I see. But we'll go ahead and we'll pull him first. Since we did pull, see his back. There's Hal Morris. We got Todd Zeal. And typically I won't read these cards, but because it might be hard to see. We got Pat Kelly. It's just amazing the gold foils survived as long as it did. Oh, here we go. Bob Clemente. Now, here's the funny thing. If you notice that it's got this sealant on it. that it's, I think they said it's hermetically sealed. Uh, let me see. Set these aside here. So it's Bob Clemente sealed card, or I forgot what they call it, but it is a nice, and it's definitely a, a refractor look. Got that nice uh, rainbow shine on it. The sad thing is that he hated to be called Bob Clemente. You know, it is Roberto Clemente, but it was part of the time. This is a nice card, though. I guess it's a, a reprint of his old-looking cards. Let me see. Look what the, looking at what the reprints is. This is number 326. This would be from what year? Sorry, I'm just giving it a little bit of, giving it a little bit of love. Yeah, this is not one of the hermetically sealed because it's not totally encased. It's only got the the top's finest protectant at the top. So, apologies. That, like I said, I'm taking a little bit of time on this, but you know, I want to definitely give it 
give it some love. But yeah, this is uh, because that uh, the one thing the reason why they they were real big with this year with uh, Roberto Clemente was this was the twenty fifth anniversary of his death in nineteen eighty eight. So, very neat card. And I'm, it is a reprint. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see what year. Hmm. I don't know, but it's an early one. I'll put that to the side. So back to the opening. We got Walt Weiss, and then the last one we have is. Jeff Kent. And I do like the fact that they actually do kind of put a the color of uh, and some of the logo as part of the you know, the name and the the team. You know, this gold on black that Jeff Kent has is a very difficult one to read, especially at a strange angle. All right, let's see what else we got. We've got three more packs. And I apologize if this is feeling a little bit longer than usual. Um, I walked into this. I, I did read kind of what was in this this uh, set, but uh, I really I didn't know. I mean, the odds. You know, while the odds is here, what they say for the Clemente uh, reprint one in twenty four. So we did pull one in the second pack. So can't complain about that. See if I can get this without messing up the. There we go. Let's split that around. And we got Jeff Shaw, Cincinnati Reds. Nice thing the gold on the red is easy to read. Uh, we got Sean Estes. Of course, Giants is a very difficult to get. That gold on that black is just. was. It's not easy on the eyes. And we got a little sticking going on. No damage, just uh, just tacky. We got Joey Hamilton. So the Padres is a hard one too. Raul Castanova. Is that another Padres? I think. No, the Tigers. Difficult, difficult. Almost makes you want to look at the back first. Scott Rowland. Tops uh, Rookie Cup. That's cool. The way the Rookie Cup was big on this year. A little lady bitty thing now, but it was big on that year. Uh, here's, a, here's one that you see. There's Mike Piazza. Oh, what's this? We've got prospects. Who's the prospects? I'm not even going to try to read those names. <laughs> I'm going to read them on the back. Oh, there's two prospects cards. So in this one, we got John Barnes. Um, good Lord. Ryan Jackson and Todd Dunny, Don Woody. And this one, we got Brian Fuentes. Uh, oh, Roy Holiday. And I'm trying to read that third one, something Lament. Matt Clement. So, I know who Roy Holiday is. It's the only one that jumps out at me. That's neat to get his prospect card. So, you get in the next one. That's funny, one of the, one of the sites I do go to is uh, Base. Baseball card Apedia. That's where I get a lot of the information on, on what I open in some of the packs. And this one right here with the uh, Roy Holiday is actually their sample card. So pretty neat to pull the one that's actually on the that's on the website right on the front. Alright, that's gonna be an interesting card in the back, but I'll go flip it over. Oh, we got Dennis Eckersley. 
I actually did not know he actually went to uh, the Cardinals. I think that's the Cardinals. Yeah. I always rec remember him as a athletic. We got Wally Joyner. Gerald Williams. Boy, these are tough to read. Apologize, it's taking so long. Um, Brady Anderson. I guess if I do it at this angle like this, I can see it, but that's about it. This is tough. We got Garrett Stevenson. Kind of cheated as I was flipping it over. I noticed that one. Dan Wilson. Carlos, was that Bagara? I'm going to see. I think it is. Yeah. Bagara. Go. That's a very unique pose right there. Um, I don't, I don't get, I don't get what's happening here. Because first off, unless that's his glove, which is a tiny glove, you know, he's not the batter because he's not wearing a helmet. But I'm not really seeing... Yeah, I guess that might be his glove. Uh, but, dude, you missed. <laughs> I mean, you flew right over the base. I don't, I don't get it. And, of course, whoever's sliding in to... See a second baseman? I'm thinking. Oh, yes, he's a second baseman. Definitely he... That's a strange shot. And, of course, here's our checklist and obviously here's that number seven has been vacated because it was retired in honor of mickey mantle of course they didn't continue that i was wondering if that was just for that year all right one pack to go these are heavy cards too that's definitely an interesting set Last pack. Now we look like we got another prospects card right in the back, but we will spin it around. Got a couple prospect packs. There's John Jaha. Dave Martinez. Jason Giambi. It's towards the end of his, I think 98 might have been the last year Giambi was at with the Athletics. I don't know, let's go back and watch Many Ball to see. Here's Dave Siegel. Scott Hatteberg, rookie cup card. John Mabry. For the prospects, what do we get on this one? We got, okay, we got looking at the back again because, man, they did not make these, reading these cards easy. We have uh, Elzer Mararo, Ramos Hernandez, and Ben Davis. Definitely a different way of doing doing the the young ones. And then for this one, again we'll have to, Eric Ch Chavez, Russ Johnson, and Russell Branion. So that's it for this opening. Obviously, we did get you know a few prospects to include Roy Holiday. Um, I have to pull out the inserts or the subsets. But the neat thing we did get, we did get one of the Roberto Clemente. I'm not going to call him Bob. I'm going to call him Roberto Clemente reprint cards. And it's got that seal over it to protect it because it's got that nice refractor look to it. Very nice. Interesting. And this is definitely an interesting pack. Like I said, I'd like to be finding what year this was. Just, uh... 
it tells you the year in life, and obviously it was a little further down, but it didn't give you the quite the year this one was reprinted from. So if anybody knows, I'm gonna have to do some more research on this. If anybody knows what year this was, this Robert Clemente card was printed originally, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. And we're gonna be opening up, like I said, we there's there was uh, 20 packs of eight cards. Um, I'm going to be opening up five packs at a time just to see what else is in there. Go ahead and make sure to subscribe so you know the next time I put any of these up. And I do appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you next time. So until then, bye now.